All right, so it's 5.30 in the morning. I've been up since 3.30 3 in the morning. I decided to just drive to my studio and uh, start getting things ready because um, uh, I'm gonna have uh, some folks come over to check out my studio uh, today at 11 a.m. or something. Actually, it's uh, some uh, people on Fantastic Negrito's team He's shooting a video in my studio tomorrow, and so his videographer and assistant and whatnot wanted to come check out the space first, so, you know, but, yeah, I've been up since like 3.30 in the morning. I, uh, I had a pretty rough, interesting, intense weekend. Um, I mean, it's, I guess it's still the weekend. It's uh, Saturday morning, um, but yesterday I was at a, my friend Roscoe hit me up and was like, hey, I'm kicking it at uh, Dolores Park. He's the homie I met out there, comes through and brings his uh, karaoke box speaker and mics and stuff and, you know, kicks it on the bench and does karaoke, you know, hella song, cool ass bro. But, but you know, I go, right? Because I was like, okay, you know, I should get out more. I took my dog to Dolores Park, met some people, you know, was having fun. And uh, so, yeah, I met this one cool cat named XL, who is a, uh, this Honduran cat who was a sick MC, got on the mic. He rapped in Spanish, he's from Honduras, black dude from Honduras, Garifuna, homie. And uh, we, you know, we kicked it, we, uh, um, you know, you know, I was really excited, you know, I filmed him rapping. I was like, oh, bro, you're dope. And, um, um, you know, we became friends and whatnot. And uh, in the middle of that, of me filming it, my homie Unity, Unity called me. But I, I saw he called, I was like, oh, it's Unity. Okay, I'll call him back, right? And so, you know, after Excel was done, you know, doing the little cypher rapping, I was like, you know, I was really elated. It was such a cool time. I called Unity back and, um, he lets me know, you know, he t we talk for a bit and he says, yo, I guess you, you haven't heard the news. And I said, what news? And he said, bro, uh, Zumbi died. You know, Steve died, you know, and I was like, what? You know, um, yeah, it, it really, uh, I was really shocked because I just, I don't think, I don't know. I mean, I guess you're always shocked, but you know, sometimes when people die, you imagine them being much older or like, or having known they were on their way out. But, um, so, I mean, for folks who don't know, Zumbi is, you know, Zion I, he's, a he's one of the legendary Bay Area MCs, um, who, you know, for the last 20 years, has been, um, you know, a big inspiration for, for me. We became friends <sighs> way back through, first through my friend Deuce Eclipse, who uh, I think that's how I met Zumbi. Um, just back in the, I mean, we're talking since the 90s, like I'd see him around and then, then you know, about six, seven years ago, I, I got him on a track with uh, Killer Priest from Wu-Tang and M1 from Dead Prez and Zumbi. I got all three of them on a track, which I finally released a couple years ago and I'm gonna re-release soon as, um, as I get my my music situated on a label. But um, yeah, you know, it was very, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, you know. Um, I mean, you know, he was 49 years old and had an asthma attack and had whatever it happened. And, you know, the thing I told Unity when he called me, we talked for a while. Once I got over the shock, I was just like, well, you know, it's sad, but when you do it the way Zumbi did it, you know, it's okay. You did it the right way. It doesn't matter when you went out, but he, he did it the right way. You know what I'm saying? He lived his his life in a way that when it was finally, finally his time to go, you know, um, you know, when it was finally his time to go, you know, fuck it, you know, if you do it the right way, it don't matter. You know, he put, he put it down and uh, yeah, you know, he made us all proud and you know, he went to the 
great gig in the sky. And that's how we all do it eventually, you know? Um, So yeah, you know, it's it's a sad day for all of us here in the Bay. You know, we all like loved him, admired him. And, you know, I feel honored that I at least was able to get him on, a, get him in the studio, get him on a track and lay his magic down. You know, that's the second person who I worked with who passed away recently, Gifted Gab, also passed away like a few months back and um, I got him on a track with Unity and Hazel Rose, which I'm yet to release. And yes, I'm I'm gonna release all this stuff soon, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it happens, and life is short, and it's as long as you make it. But um, you know, that's the times we're li living in. A lot of folks come and go, but uh, yeah, you know, you just got to stay strong and and just, yeah, can't take anything for granted. Live your life like, like nothing's guaranteed because nothing's guaranteed, you know what I mean? <sighs> anyway, I don't really know what to say. Uh, I just wanted to, I don't know, say something been a rough time uh but you know rough times bring the best out of us make us stronger uh you know it makes me i mean of course part of me just keeps fearing who's next who am i gonna find out about next you know but yeah you know we just stay strong and we keep moving you know what i'm saying like that's life like I said, it's, well, it's 5.40 in the morning. That's been me for the last month and a half, sleeping four hours a night. I made this huge life change, reset, and now I'm like, you know, eating minimally and just eating healthy and, and uh, exercising kind of a, to an extreme to the point that I get so energized that I don't I only need four hours of sleep now it's like on some X-Men shit <laughs> on some X-Men superpower shit but uh yeah you know so I just wanted to just pay respect to Zombie and his memory and his life and you know just say say goodbye to him uh I know we're all gonna meet up soon someday anyway you know so So that's what's up I'm about to just go I already got my studio ready but I'm just gonna clean up and get ready for for this video shoot I'm really excited about about Fantastic Negrito coming to see the space and it's an honor you know to to work with someone on his caliber um, the love is real you know the love that he's shown me and you know i feel you know just all the love back honored to be able to share my art my space you know with him and his people and especially in the time we're living in right now you know what i'm saying um yeah i'm not gonna make this too long but uh yeah, just just wanted to pay my respects to Zumbi and and just hope whoever's listening just knows that like you know life is special, the time we're in is special, and it can end at any time. And don't fear death, okay? Just don't fear anything, but just live your life with you know in such a way that it won't matter when you go it's not about prolonging it you know avoiding death i mean of course you want to avoid death but i'm just saying like death is going to come when it's going to come <sighs> live your life in such a way that when it does come 
that you know you're ready for the for the next gig you know what i'm saying that's what life really is all right y'all love you peace